Yo, hey, what up, Fight Boy? It's your boy, Boxing Fanatic. I'm back with another one. The undisputed lightweight champion in Devin Haney versus the former unified lightweight champion, Vasil Lomachenko, scoring down May 20th in Las Vegas. These are my keys to victory. Hey yo, what up you guys? It's your boy Boxing Fanatic, back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. Devin Haney has been calling for this fight for about two to three years now. And Vasil Lomachenko has done everything he possibly could to avoid Devin Haney. But now we are here. The fight is in two weeks. It's going down in Las Vegas. What I noticed about Vasil Lomachenko, he cannot fight off the back foot. And what I mean by that, he can't fight going backwards. Because if you look at the Teofimo Lopez fight, right? Teofimo Lopez, he dominated Vasil Lomachenko all the way up into, I want to say like the ninth round, ninth or the 10th round. I can give him that. And then you start to see Vasil Lomachenko come alive just right after that. And Vasil Lomachenko was afraid of getting knocked out. So I think that only thing if Devin Haney, only thing Devin Haney have to do is you know kind of adopt that same game plan that Teofimo Lopez had against Vasil Lomachenko in that fight and do the same thing that he did to George Cambosis, you know, in the first fight. Is just use the jab. And that's what Teofimo Lopez basically did on Vasil Lomachenko and made Vasil Lomachenko gunshy and not wanting to fight, not wanting to let his hands go up until, like I said, the ninth or the tenth round. And you cannot win no fight not letting your hands go and not being able to you know oppose your will on your opponent the person that you you know you are in the ring with and that's what he wasn't able to do pose his will on his opponent with with the jab and i think that's what Devin haney is gonna do he's gonna you know dominate vasil lomachenko and make this fight look pretty much the same way like teofimo lopez did against him in that fight but i can see vasil lomachenko trying to you know uh just uh, i guess do probably let let his you know his left hand go but i can just see you know devin haney doing some things in the fight to make lomachenko not want to let his hands go so those are one of the flaws that you know vasil lomachenko have okay um he got real he got pretty real good defense i think his footwork is his defense because sometimes he can get in and out and be be able to you know uh move around the ring gonna have to stay composed he gonna have to pose his will be the bigger fighter be the smarter fighter be the most talented fighter be the most agile fighter in this fight if he want to pull out the victory and just make you know loma go backwards and what loma will have to do to uh basically beat Devin is basically um like I said if he get Devin in the clinch he gonna have to hit in the clinch and he gonna have to be able to get closer to Devin and 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 you know fight against if he get Devin on the ropes let his hands go on the ropes try to tie your Devin out as far as you know Devin I mean he coming towards Devin and moving his feet and, and making Devin get tight, but Devin got happy feet. I always thought that about Ryan Garcia, which he didn't use in the fight against Javante Tank Davis. He didn't use his feet. He got caught the same way Ryan uh Loma, I mean uh Roley got caught in the same in the same way. He why would you throw four punches and knowing the fourth punch or the third punch you was gonna get caught just like he did? Roley got caught throwing the same punch three times and got caught by Tank and Tank knocked him out. But even though, you know, um, Ro uh, uh, Loma can't do the same thing. He can't throw the same shot. He got to kind of mix it up. You know, frustrate Devin. You know, take 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 Devin in deep water somewhere that he probably ain't never been before that Loma think that Devin can take him. Um, and then another thing 
that Loma probably would have to do, you know, just try to outsmart Devin. Just try to beat him to, you know, places that where like Devin would like to do. Like, you know, sometimes he may want to like rest, you know, doing the rounds, but I don't see that happening. I could just see Devin just dominating him with the jab. It's just, you know, just being a, being a younger fighter, being a quicker fighter, being a dominant fighter, being the most elite fighter. Devin just going to have to do all of those things in this fight if he want to pull the fight out. And these are my keys to victory. So, I mean, y'all let me know if y'all beg the difference. All right. Make sure y'all like, comment and subscribe. All right. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. A few moments later. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment and subscribe.